there's things you just want to snack on and you don't know what to snack on. I see this in the Facebook groups all the time. What are some snacks? What can I, what can I eat quickly or uh, throw together and just have a snack? I don't want to prepare a big thing, you know? I don't want a big hoopla. Well, I'm going to prepare some snacks slash appetizers because this is also something your friends come over or you're going to plan a party or whatever it may be these are the kind of things that you can do that are quick easy if you have these things on hand if not you might want to just uh, go out and buy a couple of the items that I'm going to use in this snack slash appetizer um, dish it's not a dish platter I'm going to throw together various different things I've got some sliced ham, all natural, no preservatives. I've got some uh, prosciutto. I've got some string cheese, mozzarella cheese. I have some seaweed snacks, um, pickles, and olives, cream cheese, and I made some of the cheese crackers with just cheddar cheese. And I don't know if you remember me making that previously. It's real simple. You just throw it on a baking pan on parchment paper, throw it in the oven at 350, bake that up for eight minutes, and you've got cheese crackers. Cheese crackers are good all by themselves, but you can also put things on top of them, which make it a nice appetizer. So um, I'm going to be throwing some stuff together and give you some ideas what you could do. All right, I'm going to sit on my uh, Clark Gable chair, my director's chair. I am directing this whole operation. Let's start with cucumbers. So I'm just going to um, slice them up relatively thin, but um, not too thin, okay? And just do a few. <clears throat> this is just like for demonstration purposes. I just want to show you um, things that we can do up pretty quickly. Great snacks. So here's my spreadable cream cheese. And if you don't have the spreadable kind, uh, you can just use the block, but let it get at room temperature because it would be harder to spread on the cucumber or anything for that matter. So I'm just putting some of the cream cheese on top of this lovely cucumber like so. And the cucumber is wet and juicy when you cut into it. So um, it makes it a little tricky, but not too bad. See that? I put a couple of these on the platter. I'll do these up in a minute. I'm going to grab some olives. These are canned olives that are just, they're already sliced in half. They're sliced black olives. And I'm just going to make that right on top. And there is one. And there you have some cucumber cream cheese olive snack that you can bite into. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be eating all these, but let's get on with the show. We have more things to do. Next, I'm gonna take the pickles. Okay, these are dill pickles. All right, and actually, I'm gonna get that a little dry because it's in the juice, so it's a little wet. And I'm going to grab some ham. This is uncured Black Forest ham. It's by uh, Applegate. It's a nice brand because they don't put sugar and things like that in it. And I'm going to take out a slice of the ham. And again, I'm going to take out my cream cheese. And I'm actually, it's harder to spread the pickle. Uh, so I'm going to spread the ham first. Okay, here we go. 
and I'm just going to spread as much of the um, what is <laughs> cream cheese there you go my mind doesn't always work I know I always twist up words I'm always I'll say I'm gonna cook up these potatoes instead of cauliflower because my mind works that way in my old age it just happens so I think that's enough I just um, slopped on again the glare ah, stupid glare me and my lighting there all right uh, <laughs> That's my poor kitchen lighting for you. Ta-da! Oi. All right. <laughs> so we have that done. And now, probably wondering what this pickle is for. Well, we're just going to wrap it up in Z ham. Oh, I have two slices of ham here. I only want one. So I'm going to just roll that up very nicely. And you have your ham wrapped around the pickle with the cream cheese in it. Mmm. I'm gonna put that on the appetizer platter. Alrighty, so now we have a little bit more variety going on here. And I am not done with the cream cheese because I'm going to use the seaweed. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, but it has some. Otherwise it wouldn't be a seaweed snack. People wouldn't snack on it if it didn't taste like anything. So it tastes like something. Tastes like seaweed. And I, okay, so I am putting cream cheese on the seaweed. There we go. And you know what? I'm just going to roll that up like a sushi. I just rolled it and there's cream cheese inside. That could be a good snack. Yeah. I mean, instead of a plain seaweed, have some cream cheese in it. All right, that's going on the platter. I'm gonna do up a couple more. Ta-da! So now I've got three of those. This is looking kind of nice, isn't it? Serve up. All right, what's next? <clears throat> Let's take the um, mozzarella cheese sticks and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to take it out of the plastic wrap. My hands are wet, so let's make it so easy. Oh, here we go. Now, if my dog smells it, she's going to be right over. She loves cheese sticks and she knows that sound. That she must be sleeping. She doesn't know I'm doing this. So I'm done with the cream cheese. But here's where the prosciutto comes in, okay? I'm gonna take a piece of this prosciutto. Oops, it's falling apart. No big deal. I'll just take it out like that. Things are about to like come apart on you, but that's okay. Just ever so gently <laughs> take it apart um, so I'm going to <laughs> I'm just going to wrap the uh, cheese in the prosciutto and kind of having to spread this out a little bit it did fall apart on me Psst. may not be so pretty let's see how it just turns out because that'll be I mean obviously this is a good snack all by itself, but we're getting fancy. 
or we're doing hors d'oeuvres and there you have a nice wrapped and it is something different okay what can I, I have to move something over move over I'll put that there and now I'm gonna put that there so I'm gonna do up another one maybe the next one won't fall apart on me like that one we'll see what if my dog will hear it this time that I want her to come over. And let's see what luck I have with this next slice of... I hear her. Did you see her behind me? She's here. She smelled it. I am going to have to give her a piece. And instead of taking it off... Oh, there she is. i got to show you this. She really loves this. You see my little... <laughs> I'm going to leave it on this thing so I could wrap it. I think that will be the trick instead of trying to take it off because these are so thin oh that works so much better oh, i should have done that before let me see okay you won't believe this <clears throat> i went to get an avocado to do guacamole for the cheese chip for the cheese cracker and uh, it ain't right so guess what I'm not gonna show you my guacamole covered cracker all right so I have to get inventive here um, right before your eyes so I've got my cheese crackers out of the oven I let them cool and actually I even dab them with uh, paper towels to get all the greasy oil that they produce off of the cracker so it's just a cracker all right so again you could just put those on the plate or and eat them but let's pretty them up and uh i would have loved guacamole on top of that i have to tell you but uh you know, we're, we could put cheese on cheese. Again, I could use the um, cream cheese. Actually, I'm going to try that. <laughs> Hang on. I'll tell you, tell you how that works out. I mean, they're both good, right? So how can you go wrong? Hmm. No, you can't have this. Mm. Well, I'm liking it. I mean, we do put cream cheese on regular crackers, right? So why not? That works for me. But I'm curious about something because we're getting creative here. Let me finish putting the cream cheese on this cracker. And let me put a piece. I'm going to cut this to size. This is the seaweed. Okay. And I'm going to put that on top of the cream cheese on top of the cracker. And it makes a little sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay, that's a great idea. Hmm. All right. I have a nice snack tray here of all the different things we threw together pretty quickly that was pretty fast um and again if you have a bigger platter you make a lot more um but this is really truly some yummy combinations of things that are healthy they're whole food um it's uh it's all good keto stuff so anyway, I hope that gives you some ideas and, uh, and, you know, snack away. It, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to eat all of this. That'll be a meal. Oh yeah. So, okay. Um, one of the things I didn't try that I'm dying to try is my, um, pickled ham wrap. Mm-hmm.